Hey guys, welcome along to another Destiny video. It's weekly reset time again, so we're going to go over all the new activities, modifiers, Tyra's artifacts, and weekly crucible bounties. Today is the last day I believe that you'll be able to access the Destiny 2 open beta, so be sure to check that out if you haven't done so already. So let's start with the weekly story playlist, which this week is the Dark Champion story missions, and the modifiers this week are Heroic, enemies appear in greater numbers and are more aggressive. Arc burn, so arc burn from any source is greatly increased. Airborne, players deal more damage whilst in the air, so make sure you're jumping a lot to deal that extra damage. First completion of this grants you a treasure of the ages and 20 legendary marks for the first 5 playthroughs. Moving on then to the Heroic Strike playlist, modifiers for this week are Heroic, again enemies appear in greater numbers and are more aggressive. Solar burn, so solar damage from any source is greatly increased. Specialist, special weapon damage is favoured, and chaff, so your player radar is disabled. First completion of one of these strikes grants you a treasure of the ages and 10 legendary marks for the first three completions. Moving on to the Nightfall strike next, and this week it is the Winter's Run strike, and the modifiers are epic, so heavily shielded and highly aggressive enemies appear in greater numbers. Berserk, minions of the darkness won't flinch even after massive damage. Small arms, primary weapon damage is favoured. Fresh troops, some enemy squads have been fortified with additional reinforcements. And finally Daybreak, the darkness grows stronger and so do you. Form a fire team of three and unleash your light with greatly increased ability recharge rates. Next up is the Challenge of the Elders, and this week bonus points are awarded for melee kills. The other modifiers are Chaff, so no player radar, and Juggler, so no ammo for your equipped weapon drops. First completion of this grants you a legendary engram and 10 legendary marks for your first three completions, as well as whatever weapons and armor pieces you get from Varix. Moving on to the weekly raid next then, and this week is the Vault of Glass. So we've got the Templar and Atheon challenge modes for those adept exotic weapons and Age of Triumph ornaments. Weekly Crucible playlist this week is Mayhem Clash, which will grant you a treasure of the ages and 10 legendary marks for your first match completion. We also have Clash and Rift game modes, which will be Shax's weekly bounties. The other game modes are Elimination, Skirmish and Rumble Supremacy. All five of those game modes offer you 15 legendary marks for the first match completion of their respective modes. Off to the Iron Temple and Tyra Khan next to see what artifacts she has for us this week. And we have the Memory of Timer with Discipline and Strength. This one turns minions of the darkness into your allies when you melee them. We also have the Memory of Radagast with Intellect and Strength. This one gives you the ability to reflect energy-based projectiles when guarding with your sword and also gives you increased sword ammo capacity for that extra block. And finally, we have the Memory of Gelion with Intellect and Discipline. And this one grants you a detailed radar, and radar persists when sighting with primary weapons. This is your last week to get the discount code for the Age of Triumph t-shirt from the Bungie store, so if you need to get those nodes checked off in the record book, this is your last chance to get those done before it's gone on the 1st of August. If you like the video guys, please give it a like rating and subscribe so you don't miss any future content, and I will see you guys again soon.